Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'd like to review for you a movie I watched called Kingsman and the Golden Circle. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So I checked this one out the other day, Kingsman and the Golden Circle, and uh, I kind of enjoyed this one, guys. Yeah, so this one starts out with, unfortunately, the Kingsmen taking great losses. <laughs> and they are desperate and they don't know what to do and they find out about a kind of like another Kingsman type organization in the United States called the Statesmen. So they come to the US and hook up with the Statesmen. Unfortunately, they don't really know a lot about each other. So even when they, or any, they don't even know of each other's existence until then. Uh, so when they get there, the Statesmen don't know who they are. Um, and until they figure it out, they don't really want to help them or, you know, Maybe it's worse than that, but <laughs> uh, so they have to uh, take down this drug cartel or whatever you want to call it, called the Golden Circle. <laughs> um, so the leader of the Golden Circle, uh, Julianne Moore, has um, she's like in hiding in Colombia or somewhere. I can't remember where it was. She's got like this little tiny city in a mountain. <laughs> And uh, she, she's upset because she misses home and she doesn't feel like being a drug dealer is a bad thing and that the world should make drugs illegal and she could be rich and famous and not be in hiding. So she kind of manufactures this disease or whatever and she puts it in the drugs and she holds the world for ransom. Now the Kingsmen have to find the cure the antidote. They have to find the antidote uh, before everybody dies. And of course, there's lots of people uh, in this story, like the main characters and stuff that are affected. Not the main characters, but characters they know are affected. So of course there's even more drama and need to find this antidote. <laughs> uh, so, so this is a really just fun movie somehow made Elton John an action hero. Not sure how that's possible, but, um, you know, there's comedy, there's lots of fighting and cool gadgets and just over the top action. And it was, it was a lot of fun, to be honest. There were, there were times, and, and after watching this, I kind of remembered the first one too, where just the British accents, I just didn't even know what they were saying at points, but I didn't feel like it was too bad. Um, this movie does bring a new character, well, several new characters, but it does bring Channing Tatum as Tequila. <laughs> all the all the statesmen have alcohol names, like they're like code names or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, and I don't know if um, he was like kind of brought into this one, to, and then he would be in the next one more maybe, because he wasn't in this one very much. Because unfortunately, Tequila likes to do some then a little bit harder than Tequila. <laughs> And so he was affected by the thing and they just had it, he was in their little medic thing the whole movie. So that was kind of disappointing. I, I really would have liked to see him more in this one. And it was also weird too because um, they, they kept playing that uh, West Virginia song in this movie and they also kept playing it in Logan Lucky. So I was like, well, what's the deal with that? And there are two recent Channing Tatum movies that both have that song in it a bunch. Like, well, that was weird. But, uh, yeah, I did enjoy this one, guys. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, I would give this one a 7 out of 10. It's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of action, good story. Everything looks just amazing, really fun to watch. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like or rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out the suggested videos, and be sure to check out my website and my Patreon. And I'll see you guys next time.